What's opening this week? Brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. We got a number of films opening this week. Today we're going to talk about two of them. On Thursday we'll talk about two others. But Ashley, what are, we, what are the two we are talking about today? First up is Gem and the Holograms. Teenager Jerrica is an extremely shy but talented singer-songwriter whose dreams of stardom come true when she forms the group Gem and the Holograms. Other members include her younger sister Kimber on keyboards, drummer Shayna, and bassist Asia. With help from Rio, the son of the CEO of Starlight Music, the four young band members find their own voice while taking the world by storm. Next up is the new Vin Diesel film, The Last Witch Hunter. The modern world holds many secrets, the most astounding being that witches still live among us. Centuries ago, Calder managed to slay the all-powerful queen witch, decimating her followers in the process. Before her death, she cursed the valiant warrior with her own immortality, separating him from his beloved wife and daughter in the afterlife. Her resurrection now threatens the survival of the human race as Calder, the only one of his kind remaining, faces her vengeful wrath. John, which of these films are you looking forward to this weekend? Well, it ain't Gem and the Holograms, I'll tell you that right now. That That is honestly... Look, and look, obviously, I am not I am not the target audience shocked. for Gem and the Holograms, clearly. That, that's cool and that's fine. But man, that, especially the first trailer, was one of the most awful, terrible trailers I have ever seen, mm -hmm. ever. Like, there are lots yeah. of movies that come out that are not meant for me, and that's cool, and they're movies that I wouldn't check out, but you can at least put some effort into making a half-decent trailer. I love the tease. I'm still not going to see it, but the trailer, this was awful. I have absolutely no desire to see this film, so you Here's won't see thing. me there. Um, I am the target audience for this, <laughs> in as much as I'm a kid from the 80s. I thought you were going to go to the Jew thing again. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> listen, I'm always going to play that card as often. <laughs> uh, but, like, it... It lost the spirit of what the cartoon was. Oh, like, yeah, the car yeah. like the cartoon had some like magic around it. And this right. just looks like, oh, yeah, let's neuter it and just make it like a teeny bopper flick. Well, I mean, you know? I thought initially, OK, look, this sounds ridiculous. But hey, you know, modern time that this girl gets transformed because of this little robot or dad leaves love. I was like, wait a minute, it does none of that? Right. Yeah. Like, and, and I know some hardcore Gem in the Hologram fans, these girls that are friends with my wife, they were like, they were ripe man Pissed. when they found out what this movie was not going to be but i gotta tell you this straight up i know a lot of people are hating on it i'm looking forward to the last witch hunter i really am first because i'm a sucker for these types of sci-fi fantasy action genre films i think vin diesel is made for movies like this yeah. yeah and you know this dude and i like the idea the guy a curse of immortality because it keeps him separated from his wife because normally think cursed with immortality there are other some some other stories that go cursed with immortality it's like that doesn't sound so bad but it, it's actually keeping him from his spouse i think it sounds you got michael kane in there you got spider-man in there was it, wait, 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 is it toby mcguire who is it in that was it toby mcguire or is it uh it's toby it is toby mcguire yeah. this is there okay and, and that looks great. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. one of the two of them. Yeah. And I love that one scene in the trailer where he's like, do you want out? No, I want a raise. I love that line. I think that's great. So out of the two of them, for me, it's going to be The Last Witch Hunter. What about you, Schnapp? Definitely, Jim. No. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, it's a witch hunter. And you know what? With the first trailer with The Witch Hunter, I didn't really dig it. I was like, ah, it feels like more of the same that I've seen a million times. And we all know Vin Diesel's a big D&D sweaty. So I was like, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, second trailer, I, I, it, it sold me. It had that those elements of comedy. It just it had a little bit more enough of enough of what the movie's going to be about to make me say, you know what, I'm going to see this, and I bet it's better than the Seventh Son. So <laughs> you're hoping. <laughs> what about you, Hal? It's it's got it's got to be witch hunter all day long. Yeah. I mean, and I just want to hear Michael Caine say, "I'm not going to bury another witch hunter." <laughs> That's right. Um, uh, but like, here's a question. What happened to the first witch hunter? Did I miss out on a <laughs> bunch of witch hunters? Prequels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's prequels right there all <laughs> day long. Vin, yeah. And uh, like you said, Vin Diesel's made for this stuff. 